The Red River Athletic Conference season for the Wildcats ends here tonight on Judy Kelly Morgan Field. The Wildcats fell to Louisiana State University Shreveport 3-1. The scoreboard does not tell the whole story as the Wildcats fought valiantly against the Pilots. LSUS scored in the final minute of the first half to take the lead. LSU responded in the second half with a goal of their own in the 56th minute when Adrian Amaris Navarro assisted Shaquem Walters. The Pilots would take the lead again with a goal in the 62nd minute and extend it with another in the 66th minute. The scoreboard would show 3-1 to one at the final horn, but not without some controversy. Uh, when they scored the third goal, though, it was controversial just because of the foul and the penalty off the corner. And I think that, you know, if the ref calls a penalty right there, it turns into a 2-2 game instead of a 3-1 game. The team finished as the RRAC runner-up with only one loss on an impressive season. The first loss comes at an unfortunate time, but the Wildcats can still look at their season as a success. I mean, we have a very good possession-based team here. All the boys put in 110% effort. That's never been a question for this team. We work hard to the end, and like we saw it out here today, the score doesn't reflect it, but I'm proud of these boys for everything they've done this year. The RRAC season for the Wildcats ends here, but their season may not be over. I believe, I believe for them, it means the world to keep playing. Uh, as far as like breaking records at the school, they broke many records. We're the only team in the Red River to beat a nationally ranked opponent. Uh, we've had great momentum. We've made it to the final for being so young. So I think the NAI should consider us when uh, choosing their uh, at-large bids. Wildcats are hopeful for a NAIA playoff bid. So we'll see what happens. For Wildcats Media News, I'm Brandon Brown.